multiple e-ink tablets, one workflow. Let's talk about it. Welcome everybody back to the channel. My name is Aaron Reed and this is 2530 Media. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're enjoying the information that you're getting, well, you guys know what to do. Hey, find that like button. It's somewhere over there. So today we're going to talk about using multiple e-ink devices within one use case or one workflow. As you guys know, I love the 10.3. That's my daily driver. Now, recently I've picked up the WeWoods AI Paper Mini for a specific use case, mainly for on the go and at work. I use it at work for my meetings, whether it's in person or Zoom. I also move around a lot at work, so I use that for note taking. The 8.2 inch screen actually is pretty good for long format writing. I didn't think I would be doing that much long format writing with the 8.2 inch screen, but I actually do. So with that, I use it to write down some quick ideas, outlines for projects and creative ideas and other things. So with that, I had a dilemma. I needed to find a way to get those notes onto my 10.3 so I could finish those assignments, add those journal entries into my main journal that I use. I travel a lot. Sometimes while I'm on a plane, I don't want to pull out the 10.3. So that's when I use the AI Paper Mini. Today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to move files between the two devices. Even though they don't live in the same ecosystem, I have a workflow that allows me to move documents from the 10.3 or to the Mini incorporate them into my workflow, be able to tag them, categorize them, add them to the outline or index, and continue my work. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with our WeWoods transfer. So this is where we're gonna transfer our note from the WeWoods AI Paper Mini. We'll bring it here to the WeWoods transfer desktop application. And then from there, we will save it to a folder. Once we do that, we're going to move over to our send to books or our books sync. And from here, we will just drop and drag that file into the send to books. And then we'll be able to access that file on our 10.3. So let's get into that process now. So we're here at the home screen of our AI paper mini, and we're going to go into our paper app. Now from our paper app, we have two notes that we want to move over um, to the 10.3. One is going to be for some creative writing that me and my wife are working on. And another one's going to be uh, some YouTube notes that I'm writing for a video I'm making. So we'll go to our folders. And for these notes, I have them saved under my unclassified notes. All right, so we're going to move the first one over. Now, when you get to this point, you have a couple of options how you want to share it. You can share all pages of the notebook or just the current page. You can do a PDF or you can do a TXT or a PNG. For this one, we're just going to send it as a PDF so we can use it on a 10.3. For your file transfer methods, you have a couple of ways from the QR code that will allow you to use your smartphone or iPad to scan that QR code and send it to the we would transfer. You can email it to yourself. You can go ahead and just send it directly to the we would transfer, or you can also use a Bluetooth transfer. Now, for transparency, I have never used the Bluetooth transfer. Uh, my main three methods of using to transfer files or notes from the AI Paper Mini off device will be the QR code, the email, or the we would transfer. So we're going to use we would transfer. Now let's go back to the we would transfer and let's see what that looks like. So now we are here at our we would transfer. So let's uh, refresh. Now that we have refreshed, you'll see that we have our file that we sent over from the AI Paper Mini to the transfer. Now what we're going to do is download this file. Now that my file is downloaded, I can open it and move it to where I want to save it. So now that I have my note saved here, I'll show you guys um, from there. I just file it so I can move it to the 10.3. So now as you see here, guys, I have a SSD 
that I have folders for my 10.3 and my AI Paper Mini. This is just the landing place for my files that I'm going to move between the two devices. So if you look here, I have a folder for the 10.3 and AI Paper Mini. And this is our document that we pulled over from the AI Paper Mini. So now I'll show you guys how I would send this document to the books drop. So now that we have our send the books open, uh, you have one or two methods. You can drag the file over here for a drag to upload, or you can just go in and simply upload the file. So once I have the file that I want to send to books, all I have to do now is hit this little um, paper airplane icon here that is going to send it to the books device. And you can see it has been pushed successfully. So now we'll go to the 10.3 and see what that looks like. So now we're on our 10.3. Now there are a couple of ways you can go about making sure your document made it on. The first place you can go to the books drop. When you go to books drop, you can go to receive. Once you go to receive, you'll see that your document was sent over and was successfully transferred to your 10.3. So I'll show you guys how to access the document now. So if you want to know where the document is, uh, you can always go to storage. There are two places you can look. The first place you can look will just be the documents folder. And since it's the last thing that was sent over, uh, we can just go ahead and navigate to page four. And once we get to page four, we'll see that the document that we pulled over from the AI paper is here. Now I'm going to show you guys how I insert this uh, note to use for my workflow. So now we're back to the home screen of our 10.3. And as you guys know, I have my notes app set up as my home screen so I can have quick access to those notes that I want to use. So from there, we're going to hop into my filing system and I'm going to show you guys where I want to put this note. So we're going to insert this one into the idea bank. So what I'll do from here, I'm on a blank page. Now I want to insert this in as a note template so I can continue building on the idea that I had. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to add a page. And when you go to add a page, you have a couple of options. We're going to go to add a page from files. Once I get to add a page from files, I'm going to go grab the file that we're looking for. We're going to add both pages. And so now we were able to add the notes from the AI paper mini to the 10.3. So now I have them here. Now, one of the bad things is I can't edit any of the words here. I do have the option to highlight and do some other things. I can also make some tags. So if I want to make a tag on the information that's here, I can simply just create a tag. Now, I'm going to actually have to write the tag that I want, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So once I have whatever I want that header or keyword or phrase to be, I write it down and I just make a tag. So the tag that we're going to use is going to be demo tag one, and we'll add another tag, which will be a dead bank. And we will add V Woods YouTube. Now that I've applied the tags that I need, hit OK. And so now I've added a tag to this page, which makes it searchable. I can also add it to the table of contents if I want to, uh, to be a part of that outline. So I'll show you guys you can do that as well. So now I was able to bring that note over from the AI Paper Mini, add it to my idea bank, and then I also was able to add it to the outline and add a tag to it. So I'll show you guys that it's added to the outline. So when I go here and when I go to outline, you see I have AI Paper Mini on page seven. 
So you can see here, we also added tags. We have our idea bank tag that we added. We have our demo tag that we added. And of course we have our WeWoods YouTube tag that we added. So let's transfer one more file over. So now we're gonna go over one more use case with both the AI Paper Mini and the 10.3. Now this time we are going to convert our handwriting to text and we're gonna send that over as a PDF. And then we also will send over just the handwriting notes and I'll show you guys how I use the two. So now we're doing our AI text conversion. So now that we've done our AI text conversion, we're going to share this. And now I'm also going to just share the handwritten notes. Once we've shared the handwritten notes, we're going to go over to our we would transfer. So now we have both of our documents inside of our um, we would transfer and we will move those from here to our book. So on the we would transfer, whenever you're going to transfer your handwriting recognition that you used with AI, it's going to be here in other after you send it to the transfer, it's going to be um, AI paper response. And so what this is, this is going to be our handwriting to text conversion. That's where you'll find that file. So we'll download this as well. And then we're going to send this over to the 10.3 in the books drop. So now as you guys see, we have our handwriting to text conversion. It has been pushed to the books go 10.3. Uh, so now we're just going to make sure we make sure that's pushed there. And now we'll go check it out on the 10.3. So now we have all of our documents here on the 10.3. So let's open one. So this first one is going to be our handwriting to text conversion that we have here. And then the next one is going to be our handwritten outline. So I'll show you guys how I'll use these. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up our notebook that we created for this new project. And we're going to go to our favorites here and we're going to find our drag and writer project. So we're going to do two things here. One thing we're going to insert the handwritten notes. So I insert those handwritten notes in case I want to build off of that idea or that planning. And then we can add it to our outline. We can add some tags to it. And then we can just write more information. So let's do that first. So now we've added our handwritten notes to our notebook. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert our handwritten conversion um, as a link. So we can go back to that and we can reference that, maybe annotate on it, do some things like that, if that's what you want to do as well. So here goes our document right here. So now we've created a link that we can move wherever we want to move it to on the paper. We're going to move this link under our plot since it is plans for the plot. So now that we've moved it under our plot, I'll show you guys how you can navigate to that file. We're going to open this in the Neo reader. So now I have my file that has been converted from handwriting to text. Now, something I like to do with the 10.3 when I have PDFs or EPUBs that I'm working with and I want to take some notes or do some annotations, I like to go on a split screen because when you go on a split screen, 
you can do your annotating. You also can read it, take notes side by side. You can copy and paste from your PDF to your notes. And you also create a reading note, which I like because that reading note is always going to be associated with your PDF or EPUB or even if you're working within the Kindle app. It'll always be associated with that file. So let's show, show you guys how to do that. So let's do that next. We're going to go to split screen view. So now we're in split screen view. We have our handwritten PDF. And like I was telling you guys, once you move to split screen view, now that handwritten note that you chose to, to do is going to turn into a reading note. It's going to give your reading note the title of the PDF or EPUB. This is going to be a paper response. I can always edit that and change the name of it, just like I can kind of edit this and change the name of that if I want to as well. So now whatever notes that I take here will be associated with my PDF. And I can move this to each side um, to get as much space as I need. I can also copy and paste, move some things from this side to that side, and I can still annotate on this side. So I have all my tools that I need um, within the Neo Reader if I want to do that here. So I'll show you guys what those notes look like. So now I'm back to my home page with my notes and we will simply just go to our reading notes. And now that I'm in my reading notes, you'll see that I have the AI paper response. The AI paper response is going to be um, the notes that we just made that were associated with that PDF. So if I would have made some notes, copied and pasted, sent all of that stuff over here, uh, we will be able to see that in this space here. So that was basically my workflow of how I use the 10.3 and the AI Paper Mini as my daily drivers to be able to complete tasks, work on those creative writing projects or those YouTube outlines that I do or pretty much anything that I need to do. I usually start projects on the AI Paper Mini with quick notes, those things I put in my idea bank and then I move it over to the 10.3 so I can do more of my long format writing put together those files, put those projects together, be able to organize it and categorize it, whatever I want to do with it. Now the AI Paper Mini has a strong enough organizational structure where I can work within that, structure my notes, my ideas and all of that. However, I do like completing my task on the 10.3 because of the versatility of the device. So that's why I, I have this workflow with the AI Paper Mini and the 10.3. So guys, let me know in the comments if you're running multiple e-ink tablets from different platforms and how that process goes for you. Um, is it as easy as transferring the files like I showed you guys with the WeWills transfer and the books drop? Do you have another method of doing it? Also, this method that I showed you guys today with the WeWill transfer and the books drop isn't the only way for you to move files between these two devices. You could do things like using your Google Drive you can actually do the drag and drop method if you have them connected to a PC. This is just one way that I do this. So you guys let me know in the comments what you feel about it. Do you think it's easy enough? Do you think it's too many steps? And like I said earlier, if you are running multiple e-ink devices from different platforms, how do you get a workflow that's similar to this done? Thank you guys for checking out the channel, checking out the content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.